What up, y'all? Welcome back to the show. This is another episode of Luca Bacchio, and we got Jeremiah St. Just. This player is so fast like the windy gusts. What up, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new FIFA 20 Summer Heat player review. The Summer Heat promo is coming to an end. Inter and Napoli are playing their showdown match at the moment, and EA have given us four players for draft to try out. Rabio, Kramaric, Luca Bacchio, and Jeremiah St. Just. Too bad we didn't get St. Just as a regular SBC card because this player looks absolutely phenomenal. Hopefully we will get him in draft. Before we start though, if you're new to the channel, please smash that subscribe button. Let's get to 1000 subs. Alright boys, let's dive in. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. This is the team we have built. Luca Bacchio up front with Timo Werner. Hullet will be the cam spot. Kovacic, Kaka and Agustin will be on the midfield. Jordi Alba, Fernando Hierro and Jermai St. Just with Da Costa as the defensive line and Lehmann will be in goal. So first things first, Jeremiah St. Just, six foot tall, high medium work rate, which is a little bit awkward for a defender, probably is medium high better. Right footed, three star skill moves and three star weak foot. Taking a look at the pace, we see 94 pace with 95 acceleration and 94 sprint speed. He has 92 interceptions, 94 stand tackle and 89 defensive awareness. Slide tackle 92 as well, but I don't use that that much. Stamina 94 is great, 90 strength and 93 aggression. That's really good. And with this camp style, the defending will be boosted to the max and he will get a plus 5 strength boost. Apart from those stats, he has 98 agility, which will make him very quick on the ball. 80 balance is a little bit low with 85 composure and 85 reaction might be a little bit on the low side as well. But 93 dibbling and 89 ball control is fine. His passing game is really good with 93 short pass and 92 long pass. Just a vision low with 77. But looking at this card, this is a monster card. That pace is phenomenal. He's one of the top three fastest center backs in the game at the moment. And I think he is probably the fastest because Varan and uh, Opara, they both have 90 acceleration and 99 sprint speed. So it's good to have that acceleration as well. His uh, pace is balanced. The second player to look at is Dodi Lukabakio. Six foot two, really tall. High low work rate is fine. 4 star skill moves and 4 star weak foot. Looking at his pace we see a whopping 91 acceleration and 99 sprint speed. His dribbling is exceptional, 92 agility is really good, 85 balance might be a little bit low but 91 reactions, 92 ball control, 98 dribbling is exceptional. And when we take a look at his shooting we see a phenomenal 95 attack positioning, 94 finishing, 93 shot power and 88 long shots. So those stats are really really good with this camp style, the finishing camp style, he will be maxed out in the shooting department. Another bonus of this card is the 92 strength, super strong dude, probably because of his height. Just the aggression is absolutely terrible, horrendous, atrocious, 44 aggression, what the hell is that? What a crock of shit. First team we come up against as a 91 rated team with George Best, Cristiano Ronaldo, Balak, Overmars, Kante, Mbappe. Absolute monster team, just the defense might be a little bit weaker with Godin. Normal Van Dijk is still good though, but Robertson on the left back. So tough to get the ball from this guy in the beginning. That was Oh no, 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 what did I do? Oh man, that defender first stepped in, St. Just. But I tried to press triangle to get my goalie and I pressed slide in. You suck, you jackass. Hierro, onto St. Just. Da Costa. Slow build up play. Guy tried to press me. Rullet, nice. Onto Werner. Kaka, back to Rullet. Werner, can we find the space? There we go. Luca Bacchio. Luca Bacchio. Oh, I thought he had 92 strength. What was that? Herrera back to Kaka. Now we can shoot Luca Bacchio. Oh man, saved by Lema. Alright. That's over Mars. Don't let him through. No, 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 no. How is it possible that he gets so easily through three men with one through ball onto Balak? <laughs> Stop that. Ronaldo. Oh, no way. Oh, come on, goalie, you can catch that ball. He almost scored with a bicycle kick. That's unreal. 
But he scored with the header from the corner. That's unreal as well. I mean, this game is going down the drain, man. What the fuck? No! No! Deep breath. No! Have to make some switches this Pereira absolutely is horrendous let's take off Werner and put in the best and let's put Messi for Pereira Pereira is just losing the ball for me let's have uh, Kovacic as our CDM and let's put Messi striker let's see how this goes nice Kovacic with the interception Messi with the ball roll some space and the shot oh my god on the post of course I am not lucky Kaka with the interception, oh, a little bit jammy with the passing, Kovacic picks up the ball, Hulit, Luka Bakio with a slow turn, what was that, Piero with the pass onto Da Costa, come on guys, Kovacic on to Best, Luka Bakio with the pass, back to Best, ball roll, some space, shot, and there we go, bang! One goal back. Let's keep going. 1-3. Put some respect on my name. Best. Come on. Ooh. A little bit too late there. But the Costa picks up the ball. We have now more pressure on the midfield. That's good. Kaka to Kovacic. Kaka. With the Tiki Taka from Kaka. Best. No time for skill moves. Let's go. Luka Bakio. Finesse it. Holy shit, what was that attempt? That was horrible. Kaka. Onto Kovacic. Luka Bakio. Retry. Surely this time. Oh my god, this, this player is trash. He cannot finish a simple shot. Come on, man. What the hell? Picks up the ball. Saying just. Second half, he didn't have much to do. All the men up front are pushing. Best with the ball. Oh my god, Messi, come on. Luka Bakio gets the ball. On to Best. Ah, such jammy. Jordi Alba picks up the ball again. This guy is playing one depth drawback. Best. Best with the shot. Ah, saved by Lehmann. This Lehmann is also really annoying. Let's uh, take this corner short. Onto Messi, fake shot it, and the finesse best with the rebound. Oh, finally some luck my way. That was a horrible, horrible, ugly goal, but I'll take it. Back in the match, two three. Come on, Saint Just wins the one on one. Best with the ball onto Messi. That's some nice dribbling there. Kaka onto Best. Best. He has some space. Near post. Oh, I just wanted to shoot. I almost took the shot there near post. It would have been a goal. I needed too much time. Next try. Messi. Messi. Messi with the shot. Oh my god. How did the goalie save that one, man? I know it's his right foot, but still. Come on. One more chance. Come on, man. Don't let me down. Hurl it. Onto best. Hull it, hull it with space, surely. Oh my god. How is that possible, man? The whole time, EA is screwing me over. I don't understand why that is not a goal. It's not like I'm pressing it too hard or anything. That's just ridiculous, man. I have to admit, I'm salty on this one. 3-2 loss. Alright guys, this was the draft for today. Sadly, it was only one match. I gave away three goals way too easy, but I felt robbed on my chances as well. Especially that last one with Hullet, that should have been a goal. But yeah, it is what it is. Luca Bacchio, he didn't impress me at all. He missed a few easy shots, whereas Munir in the other episode was scoring one banger after another. So yeah, Luca Bacchio didn't impress me. St. Just. Yeah, he didn't have the clean sheet, but that was partly my fault. 
you know, he was solid overall, but he doesn't feel overpowered like a Mondi or a Sar. So both players are meh on the scale of meh. <laughs> Alright guys, this was it for today. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next vid. Later. It's over. Go home.